This is the most requested movie Defence Force candidate of all time, the Ang Lee directed Hulk from 2003. The subject of much criticism and mixed reviews when it originally came out, the movie that Ed Norton would eventually kick out of continuity for the sequel turned reboot has found itself many fierce defenders over the past 11 years. Here it is then, the movie Defence Force for Hulk. There are valid criticisms to be had, let's be fair. The movie certainly goes on longer than it should, with an entire prequel chapter that could have been cut and some slow build scenes that travel just a bit too slowly. However, Eric Banner makes a pretty convincing young Bruce Banner, while Nick Nolte's turn as a cross between David Banner and the Absorbing Man is at least fun to watch on screen, even if it's insensible and Nolte starts gurgling his lines towards the end. Hulk caught flack for a depressing plot, but with Bruce Banner being one of the more tragic heroes of the comic book world, a somber tone is more fitting here than it would be in many other Marvel films. The story of the Incredible Hulk is pretty depressing, centred on a man with powers he neither wanted nor can even control, unable to properly express a fundamental human emotion, forever at risk of hurting anybody he gets close to. What do people want from a story like that? A song and dance number? The CGI isn't too convincing, no, especially in a post-Avengers world, but the Hulk smash scenes are still quite fun to watch. Whether he's fighting mutant Hulk puppy dogs, which admittedly is quite funny, but, you know, entertainingly funny, or if he's tearing the hell out of some helicopters, it's fun to watch the green guy bash everything up, and that's really the only other thing you could want out of a Hulk film. While the effects may be cartoony, the scenes are themselves directed well, with animations capturing both the brutality and the odd grace of the Hulk nicely. With what he was working with, Ang Lee did a damn fine job with this stuff. I'd never watched Hulk until, well, a few hours ago, frankly, and while it's not as fantastic as a lot of the more recent Marvel films, it's still worth a watch. It's certainly not so terrible as to require a total reboot after just one movie, and it's far from unwatchable. It has a refreshingly somber plot, some really nice performances, fun Hulk scenes, and the first scene where Nolte gets his absorbing properties is, as far as I'm concerned, really damn well done, regardless of evolving standards of special effects quality. Hulk 2003. I mean, it's a pretty brief defense of it, but hey, it's a pretty effing decent film.